Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today is day 21 of 3D Printmas. Now, I'm still a little sick, so I apologize for my nasally voice. But today, I am bringing you something a little bit interesting. I've been on a roll lately with these uh, weird 3D Printmas models. Um, but today, I'm bringing you Gamify Tokens. Now, there's kind of a school of thought out there um, when it comes to productivity that says that um, you perform better when things are kind of presented as a game. And that means that you're rewarded for things that you do. I think the easiest example is like, say that you have a kid and kids have to do chores, but obviously the kid doesn't want to do the chores because who wants to do chores? But chores are a good thing. They teach the kids good things. Um, so something that can make it a little bit easier for them to do it would be to gamify it, turn it into a game, reward them for everything they do, and then eventually let those rewards build into something bigger. So that's where this thought comes in. And these are just little tokens that have a numerical value attached to them that you could give out as rewards for doing something. Now, this doesn't have to be a kid thing. If you're a child at heart, like I am, that grew up with video games his entire life, um, these can be a sort of incentive for, like, for me personally, it would be like weight loss. If I do the right thing, like eat good for a day, don't drink pop, you know, get, get out to the gym for a half an hour, reward myself with some of these tokens, and then eventually when I get enough of them, I can buy something bigger. And I think one of the biggest perks about it being 3D printed is one, these are really easy to print, and two, you can um, print multiple colors. So say that you have multiple kids and each of them can have their own colors to go along with things and it might make it a little more fun um, and easier to keep track of who has what. So I use kind of a clever little trick to make um, counting these things quite a bit easier. So you'll see here that I have a 5 token and then here I have a 10 token. They look very similar, right? But if you look at it from the side, you'll notice that the 10 token is twice as big as the 5 token. And then if you look here, I have a 20 token that is also twice as big as the 10 token. So their heights directly correlate to the number that's on them so that when you stack them, you can measure it and get the exact value of what they are. And to make that easier, I've got this tower here. So say that I do something in the day, take the trash out, get 20. Do something else, I haven't drank pop the entire night, I get another 20. Do something a little bit smaller, I dusted, get 10. So 20 plus 20 plus 10 equals 50. And now if you look on here, you should be able to see that there is a little number etched right in there and that says 50 and there's a line. So these tokens rest right at that line. So you can see that I have 50 tokens. There are more lines all the way up. So we've got 100 and then 150. And then I've also included a second set of bigger tokens. We've got 100 and 500 tokens here. And there is another tower that uh, goes along more with these that goes up to higher values. So once you get a certain number of these, you can swap them out for these bigger tokens and build up to higher values. And so that's pretty much the idea in a nutshell. It's not very complex and it's that way by design. I wanted it to be simple so uh, people could understand it. You could explain it to people easily. Um, and I really see this being most useful for people that have kids. Um, that they want to incentivize. And then you get to go through the fun part of figuring out what you want the rewards to be. So like say at 500 tokens you'd get to buy a video game. That's what I would use it for because I'm a child at heart and I'm not ashamed of it. And then you just designate certain actions and put a point value to them like I did earlier, like taking out the trash is worth 20 tokens, something like that. And of course, I mean, you could use these things for other things like an actual game if you needed little tokens that have numbers on them. You can certainly do that. All right, guys. Well, this was a weird one. So I hope some of you may have found this at least interesting. Uh, and maybe some of you have found it useful. So uh, check the link in the description for all the files. And then let me know if you guys like this. I can expand on this quite a bit with um, different plaques and stuff that you can put the rewards in. You know, things like that. So I'm more than open to those ideas. Um, and if you've done something like this or you think you would use these, let me know how down in the comments. I'd be really interested to hear that. Okay, guys, well, thank you for joining me. I think this is the last of my kind of weird experimental um, projects for 3D Printmas, so tomorrow we're back to characters and stuff. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. That's it for day 21 of 3D Printmas. I'll see you tomorrow.